Hello, um, today we're going to learn about um, managing and creating sites on Dreamweaver. Okay, right here I have a uh, Dreamweaver open. Um, um, on the bottom where it says files, um, you're going to go to manage sites. And if this is not open, you want to go to window and then here it says files. So. That's how you bring it up if it's, you know, closed by accident. Um, new site, and then um, give it a name. I'm just going to name it OEMA because I haven't set this up yet. Okay, local root folder. I created a folder on the Macintosh hard drive. Um, it's right here, actually. And it's in a folder named sites and OEMA. So you know where your folder is and where you want to put all your files and everything just locate that here it is here and then click choose and then on the remote section um, click on remote info click FTP and then um, delete that. Okay, type in your FTP um, host name or your um, domain name and then um, type in the folder that you wanted to put all your files in. This is the remote section, so just if you don't have a folder, you have to create one there first, and then you want to, you know, type that folder's name in there, and then username, password, click test. So it says uh, Dreamweaver connected to your to your web server successfully. Okay, that's done. Then we click on testing server. Under server model, click PHP, MySQL, and FTP. Everything's set. You can test it again if you want, but usually if the first one is right, then this is right. Okay, so click done. Another thing is, um, if you get a problem connecting, um, sometimes it's just a server error. Uh, you can restart your computer. If that doesn't work, you can um, make sure everything is closed, everything that connects to your hosting account is closed, like say you have FileZilla, Qt FTP, File FTP, or any other programs that connect to it, you want to close that out because it might interfere. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, so you created your uh, site. Click on this button where it looks like a plug and click on that, it will connect to it. Now here, it brought me to the remote view. Um, you can switch from remote view and local. Local, there's nothing in there except for that uh, folder. Um, that's the folder that I selected for the site. And remote view is what I already have. This is what's on my server right now. 